Raise the personal levies. Um, raise the vassal levies and just take, like, these guys. Let's get them all to march here. Send everybody else home. Whoop, too far. You guys go home. And you guys go home. Okay. We got we can't help but have two wars going on at any one time. That's just the way it goes, I guess. You are so gonna get your ass kicked, buddy. Uh oh. Message about call to arms has been received from Bernard de Blois. Dear father, you you freaking hate me, dear father-in-law. Blessings upon you and your house. We request that you honor your obligations and answer this call to war against Caliph Parman. Fatimid holy war for Tripoli. Oh, not Tripoli. I don't want to go overseas. In fact, if he goes overseas, this would be prime time to uh, take some more territory from him. Hmm. And it won't cost me any prestige to decline. I'm going to decline. Sorry, sir, you hate me and I'm not going to help you. Good grief, why is this taking so long? Hmm. Fine, whatever. Meanwhile, in the more interesting war... Oh, right, I have it paused. God damn it. Uh, okay, fine. Our rally point in bar. Okay, here we go. And let's... Those guys are actually... Actually, I'm just going to say the leadership is fine, because the better guys are leading over in the Eastern War. Um, that's good. Okay, yeah, you lead a flank, and maybe you'll get your ass killed pass this goddamn emperor empire along. All right. March on Paris. He's running away. And he's sieging in French territory for some reason. Where are you going? Amiens. Just sit there for a second. Let's see where this bastard's going. Oh, look! He's getting the shit kicked out of him by the, by the English. <laughs> oh, no. They're actually kicking the shit out of him. Ah, he's in Amiens. Where is he going now? He's sieging in Amiens. He's running to Artois. He will get there before we can get there. We're going to chase this poor bastard everywhere now. Uh, Iperin on the 15th. Let's go here. No, let's go... Ah, let's just go to Ypres, whatever. Aha! Not running now, are you? Oh, victory in the Siege of Abba. Okay, fine. Fine. And the Siege of Cassel, fine. Victory in the Battle of Cassel. Uh, where is this? Okay, this is here. We kicked his ass. War score went up to 49. Good. Where is he going now? No. Okay. Go there and kick his ass. After he gets there, victory in the Siege of Alboige. Alboige, whatever. War score over there is now 60. That's good. Keep it up. Unpause. Uh, 
Oh, look, he couldn't even get there because he's getting his ass kicked. Where? What are you doing? Bologna? Uh oh. Word has reached me that an ambitious adventurer, Sehinsa, is gathering men for some sort of attack on my territory. The hell is this dude? Oops. Ah. Is it the Seljuks? Yeppers? Hmm. Hmm. Well, apparently this makes me think of assassins. Okay. Alright, so he's pretty much done for. What do I need to do to get the war score up to... Uh... Oh, he's even imprisoned by someone. Let's just go sit down here in Paris, then. Hmm. Connus of Moravia. Well, he only has one county, so I'm not too worried about him. Okay. We built a castle town in Grand Pre. Let's improve it some more, then. Castle fortification, yes. And how are we doing in Lorraine? We finished whatever we were building here. Um, hmm, I think we'll just wait for now. Bar? I think we'll wait here as well. Maybe we'll just increase the size of our retinue. Yeah. Get that pumping. Siege of Spees. Peasant revolt for Paris has ended. Kaiser Dietrich II of the Holy Roman Empire won. So is this guy in my prison now? What can I do to him? Hmm. Can I ask to ransom him? Ten gold? Sure, ten gold to get my hands on him and eventually kill him? That'd be great. Yay, we won. Okay, so this army then can all stand down. Except for the retinues, whom I will march back to Lorraine. So where are you then, my friend? Once you're released. Mari has been released. Oh, Duke Rutger, my grandson, had him. <laughs> now I can imprison him. Uh, to imprison, try to imprison Amari. We have a 47% chance of success based on our relative state intrigue. If we fail, he might declare war on us or flee to another court. He's acted dishonorably toward me. No one will care. <laughs> I basically paid 10 gold to transfer him to my dungeon. Now, can I execute him with impunity? No one will care. It'll cost me 20 piety. Yep, I sure can. Dead. That's a real shame, buddy. Should have thought about that before you raised your hand in anger. This war is taking a long time. Oh, what? Dietrich Chatenois is now known as the Great. Wow. Kaiser Dietrich the Second, the Great of the Holy Roman Empire. Well, I have been reigning for a while. Let's see. How long have I been? Uh, since February the 4th, 1195. So that's uh, almost 30 years. In two years, it'll be 30 years that I've been 
at the helm here. So yeah, I guess I probably deserve the trait great. I just passed uh, 6,600 prestige and 2,600 piety. Adventure threats. I don't know what to do about this. Can I seek to kill him? Kaiser Dietrich II has decided it is time for Sehinsa to depart this world. Kaiser Dietrich II and his backers will look for opportunities to kill Sehinsa. The higher the plot power, the more likely they are to find openings. By potentially useful characters. Who would agree? Uh, you would agree if I greased your palm a little bit. You as well would agree if I greased your palm. And you. And you. That's it. Okay, how much money do you guys want? 39 gold. Whoops. Ah, damn it. Yeah, so he'll do it. Okay. You want a gift of 20 gold? Sure. Invite to plot, you'll say yes. You want a gift of 20 gold? Trying to save my life here, so I'm okay with giving away this gold. You'll say yes. Gift of 20 gold. And you will join the plot. Good. Anybody else? I forget. Nope, that's it. Okay. So what will that take the plot power up then once they all accept? I don't even know. Siege of Casa victory! 88% war score. Good. Finally. To the righteous pilgrim Dietrich, peace be with you. An intriguing scheme. <laughs> I believe I will indeed back your plot to kill Sahinsa Mersaloglu. Welcome to the plot then, Tolun Muragdoglu. Okay, you guys just finish your siege. March up here and see if you can kick his ass before he leaves. To the diligent P pilgrim Dietrich. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. An intriguing scheme, I believe. I will indeed back your plot to kill Sahinsa Mersaloglu. Welcome, Banu Mayafid. Uh, we also have uh, an acceptance from Bayan Bian of Batum. And an acceptance from Timariat Thoros of Ub. Badno. So what does that get the plot power up to? Uh oh, a battle. Hang on. Let's look at the battle first. Yeah. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. March back down here and siege some more. I think his army is marching here for me to kick it. Oh no, he's marching down here. Fine. Siege of Satoral. Victory there. Nice. Okay, so wait, what's our plot power now? 62. Hey, that's not bad. That is not bad. I'll take it. Hopefully, we don't have any blabbermouths like the one time I tried to do a plot and the Duke was like. Oh yeah, it was great. We lit the manure on fire and the whole house exploded. Oh, I'm not sieging because there's nothing left to siege. Okay, go there. He's running away. Yay, the war is over. Gurgly of Hungary won. Very good. So then why is it independent? What? Why is the Duchy of Ungvar independent then? It should be part of Hungary, no? What the hell, man? Call that a victory? Well, first, hey, you go there. You go there. Yeah, that's fine. We'll stand you guys down once you get back. 
My liege, I have tried to make Mayor Popo of Aachen... Oh, good. You fail with Mayor Popo. I'm trying to get you to improve relations with yourself, you moron. Whatever. 72 years old. Come on, man. Take a hint. Everybody's voting for Popo. That's good. Castle fortification built. Good. Ah, yes. This army can now stand down. And this army can now stand down. Okay, now let's see. Before I die, can I go out with one last big bang? Hold the feast. Yeah. I've given the orders for a great feast to be hosted in the rain. Let the preparations begin. And all my vassals will be there. Fantastic. Well, this will be fun. When I opened the door, I saw no one, but as I stepped aside to close it, a group of acrobats cartwheeled, somersaulted, and tumbled in. They performed all sorts of tricks, and everyone watching exploded into applause when they finished. It would be perfect for my feast. Well, wait a minute. What would I do? You know what? Fuck it. I'm old. I'm just going all out here. Holding a large feast. Crush revolt. Pleasures in the afterlife, celibacy. Yeah, but you know what? I'm holding it. I'm, I'm. This is my swan song right here. I'm 73 years old. I'm known as the Great. Let's do this before I die. The conjurer produced a rabbit from a hat, then made a handkerchief change color from brown to red, and then he simply vanished from the room, only to knock on the door and open it a few seconds later. You also must perform at my feast. Seeks to kill. <laughs> Take a break from planning the feast to ignore a warning about a plot. Gerhard just drifts around, doing nothing productive and nothing interesting. If only he could get off his butt and be more amb- Did they say butt back then? I don't think they did. Be more ambitious. Why the hell should I give a flying crap about Gerhard? You know what, let's get him married. The old dude wants to get married. Let's get him married. He wants something to do. He's- He's, he needs to get off his butt. Here we go. We'll get him married. How about a lovely German woman? Ermela. I think that sounds wonderful. Yep, there you go. Get married. Lazy good for nothing. Apparently I'm talking to Gerhard about his, about his lack of ambition and I'm getting him married too. Really need to get my tax income up in Grand Prairie. Let me take a look at that, actually. Oop, no, not there. This. I need Castle Walls level 1 to upgrade to a higher Castle Town level. Alright, build Castle Walls level 1 then. Your Imperial Majesty, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I accept your suggestion that Gerhard and Ermela get married. There you go, Gerhard. Good on you, buddy. You got a wife at 66 years old. The best part about preparing a feast is deciding what foodstuff to serve. I must purchase venison, boar, duck, spices, wine, and ale. Honey for the desserts, cheeses, and perhaps even a swan or a peacock. I will spend, because I'm dying, uh, not dying, I'm just old, I will spend lavishly on food. Most of the preparations for the feast have been made. Now I only have to send out the invitations. I hereby invite you to Kaiser Dietrich the Second, the Great. Uh, I guess this is what is this? Uh, wait, where did I see my stat? Yeah, there we go. Eleven ninety-five. So I'm I'm kind of throwing myself a thirty-year anniversary right now because I don't know if I'll survive another two years. So. Hereby inviting you to my 30th anniversary jubilee. There we go. Everyone join me for the Christmas festivities, which are starting right now. Okay, apparently yeah, a little bit after Christmas. Okay, fine, New Year's festivities. The guests have finally arrived. All is ready. The cooks have worked day and night preparing the food, and the castle has never looked lovelier. Welcome to my feast, everyone. 
Very good. Some of my guests did not seem satisfied with the food, but I would never have thought one of them would have complained out loud. Baron Franz said a lot of nasty stuff about the food, and I couldn't help but fear, feel irritated. Ooh, I tell him, if you don't have something nice to say, shut up. My opinion of him goes down for ten years, basically the rest of my life. His opinion of me goes down by twenty. Everyone drank and were happy, except Baron Franz, who refused more wine. This insulting gesture means that he does not appreciate my hospitality. How dare he insult me? Wow, I like him even less now. Bad move, Baron Franz. Don't piss off the boss. Conjurer's magic tricks enchanted and charmed my guests at the feast. The women squealed with delight when he produced a rabbit from his hat, and the men laughed when he made my crown disappear and then found it under the jester's hat. Give that back! Gain ten prestige. Duke Luitpold II of Genoa and Lombardy greatly approves of the conjurer. Okay. Don't know what that does for me, but okay. Everyone drank and were happy, except Bishop Archambeau, who <laughs> refused more wine. This insulting gesture means he does not appreciate my hospitality. Well, what can you say? He's a 62-year-old bishop. I think I'm okay with that. I mean, I, I, obviously, Kaiser Dietrich the Great is not okay with it, but I could totally understand why he would not approve of that. That's fine. Conjurer's magic tricks enchanted and charmed my guest at the feast. The women squealed with delight when he produced a rabbit. Okay, again with the rabbit and the jester's hat. Fine. Give that back again. Duke Pawns II greatly approves of the conjurer now. It's a long feast. It's been going on for a month now. Mm. Oh, and during the feast, I passed my 29th anniversary of being the Kaiser. That's cool. The last of the guests has returned home, and everyone agreed it was this year's greatest feast. Feast. I had great fun, and so did everyone else. Everyone will like me more by uh, for two years, by ten, when I gained ten prestige. Very nice. Well, that's a nice capstone to my career, then. Decent way to send myself off to the great beyond when that finally happens, you old fart. You old lucky fart, by the way. My liege, during my stay in Lorraine, I have found a great philosopher who has agreed to help me with my studies to enhance culture in this province. With your permission, I would suggest that we employ him. Hmm. Yeah. Let's do it. Very exciting. Well, yeah, I guess Kaiser Dietrich II, even though he has he's technically a zombie twice over now, he has, I suppose, earned the title, the Great. A lot of prestige, a lot of piety. He's ruled for 30 years now, almost. Um, some expansion under his reign. He's helped his uh, friend, the King, King Gurgli of Hungary. Helped beat up the uh, Seleucs a little bit. His his heir will have to do some more work there, I think. I look, I'm talking about him I'm, as if this is an obituary. The man's still alive, but still. He'll be dead soon, I hope. I caught my young ward, Leopold, torturing a rat behind the stables today. Let the lad have his fun. Talk to him about kindness. Pray for his soul. Um, I'm kind. Talk to him about kindness. 50% chance Leopold gains the trait kind, 40% chance he gains the trait cruel, and a 10% chance of no effect. Currently he is cruel. Now he has no cruelty. Okay. Fine. Fine, I suppose. How is my retinue doing? Oh, I can combine them into one force? Yeah! Nice. Cool. If 
fabricated claim on the Duchy of Upper Burgundy. Good luck, buddy. What's going on over here? Moravia. Oh yeah, I think I remember reading about that. That war breaking out. Otherwise, pretty peaceful. In and around the Empire. Violante von Stad seeks to kill Count Eberhard. Rishwara von Habsburg seeks to kill Engeltraud. Fine. Getting 13 prestige a month. We're getting 16 and a half gold per month. Three and some change in piety per month. 40,000 in our army levies. That's the limit at 37, and our domain size, 4 of 6. Hmm. Hmm. Is the Baron of Epinal still alive? Nope, not that. Yep, he's still alive. Still got away from the die. A wall room, uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, castle. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Hang on. We want to improve now the castle town here to improve our tax income. Baroness Alborada of Epinal has inherited Barony of Epinal from Baron Heinrich of Epinal. Castle wall is complete. Seeks to kill. Inherited Duchy of Corinthia. You like me a lot, that's good. This is all still the same as it ever was. Okay. Well, you guys, I'm going to end this play session at the end of the year. I thought for sure that the Kaiser would have died uh, in this play session. I thought for sure he would have died well before we got four years into the play session. Apparently not. This old dude just keeps on trucking. He can die twice and be brought back. The game just wants him to live. Duke Adolf the Second of Corinthia has inherited Duchy of Corinthia and other titles. And you also like me. That's the advantage of having been the Kaiser for 30 years. Everybody freaking likes you. He might make it. Let's see if he does. I'll I'll stop the play session after February 4th, right? February 4th, 19, uh, 1195. He might make it to his 30th anniversary. Let's just find out. Here we go, autosave. If he does, we'll have to throw another party. 74 year old man. Oh, just a month to go. Can he make it? He's in, he's hardy in hail, he's in good health. He is going to make it, ladies and gentlemen. He has been the Kaiser for 30 years and a day. I think we're all very proud of him. Very impressed. In fact, let's take a look at his father then. So his father died on February 4th. That makes sense. 1195. He took the throne. Oh, no. It doesn't tell, him when, tell us when he took the throne. Damn. Uh, how do you find that out? I can't find that out, can I? Can I find that out from here? Can I find that out... Here? No. Hmm... Where did I start the LP? Was it with Dietrich the Second? It was with Dietrich the Second, wasn't it? Yeah. Because we had. Let's see, we had. Um, we started with. Yeah, Dietrich the Second of Upper Lorraine. And he had a number of sons. The Duke originally went to 
no, it went to Dietrich. The third of Upper Lorraine. And then, oh, so it was Dietrich the Third's sons. So it originally went to, who did it go to first? I think it went to Dieter first. Dieter died, it went to Rudolf. Rudolf died, it went to Dietrich, who became the, he was Dietrich the Fourth of Upper Lorraine, and then he became the Kaiser, Dietrich the First. And then that passed on now to Dietrich the Second. Can't see how long he served as Kaiser, though. I think you can see it on the retirement screen, but I don't want to go there, honestly. Um, so now it's Dietrich. Berengard could have been, but he died. And it'll get passed on to Dietrich's half-brother, Popo, from there to one of his children, probably. Especially if he passes on that genius trait. That'd be great. Hopefully this fucker die this fucker dies before Popo dies. That'd be sad. Alright, anyway, that's the play session. Let's take a quick look at uh the map here. Just see what's what's new. I won't even comment really, I'll just kind of scroll over it. Oh my god. Look at the Ilkhanate. Holy shit, before it was just this. Doom! Holy shit, it's way down here in freaking... What is that? Romania! Uh, oh, something to worry about. We haven't even gotten to the Golden Horde yet. Man. Oof. Man. Well, yep, I was going to say, it, it, good thing Kaiser's dying when he dies, because things are going to get crazy here in the next few years. Um, he won't live to see it, though. Hmm. Yeah, every time you think in this game, like, oh, I've reached a new level of... Um, uh, you know, like a new standard. I've reached a new, like, I'm complacent now. I'm like, oh yeah, I've got the Holy Roman Empire, and I can kick the shit out of the French whenever I want, and I can kick the shit out of the Seljuks in Italy whenever I want. And then it's like, nope, hang on, buddy, there's a threat in the east. And another one on its heels, too. Whew. Alright, well, anyway, that's where we'll end the play session, everyone. Uh, thank you again for watching, I hope you're enjoying... This zombie Kaiser, as he stretches out his lifespan as long as he can possibly go, he's probably technically a lich now, I think. Um, and uh, stick with it. More episodes to come. It'll go for a while yet. We've got to get to, what, 1435 or something before this is all over. So we've got a couple hundred years left in the LP. Um, and uh, until next time, everyone, take care, and I will see you around.